it's that time of year again, school. Well, for me at least. It's probably summer for some of you guys, and it is for me while I'm voicing this. Animation takes time. Now instead of me telling some school stories, I'm gonna have my friends tell the stories. Wow, what a loser. Oh hey, Gregor, it's your turn by the way. Really? Yeah. Do I just like walk over? Hey guys, I'm Gregor. My story occurred in PE class. Do you guys know what PE stands for? Me neither, but I think it means pointless exercise. We were playing this game called Big Base. Big Base is basically kickball, but indoors and the bases are big mats with as many people on a base as you want. I was up to bat, if you can go trying to kick a ball batting. I'm pretty good at the game, which is because I'm fast, I can actually kick a ball, which is a rare occurrence at my school. Anyway, my PE teacher rolled the ball and I kicked it. It was a low hard shot, so basically if you don't have good reflexes, your head's going to be taken off. My shot hit my math acquaintance in the face as he was running to the third base, which meant he was at the back of the gym, and he got knocked over. It was a foam ball, so it didn't kill him. It was kind of funny, which it wouldn't have been if he got hurt, but he didn't. He was out, by the way. It was fine. I think we won, but I can't really remember it. And that's it. That's all that happened. It's not that cool, but it was funny at the time, and nothing super funny ever happens at school, so this is pretty much the best I got. And now for the next story. Andrew, get over here! No. But it's your turn! Hi, I'm Andrew, and my story happened at band class. So right before lunch, me and a whole bunch of unnamed individuals have band class. In this class, you play an instrument that may or may not interest you in any way. So one time in sectionals, I walked in late and everyone was already playing. I walked into the locker, grabbed my baritone, and sat down. Once I sat down, the warm-ups were done. Mr. Teacher glanced at the back of the room and looked at four to five individuals and said, You guys are like an honor guard, guarding the sacred trumpets that if played would sound so awful that it would ruin the whole song. Or at least that's what I was thinking at this moment. Most likely so was everyone else that was not part of the honor guard. All of them had already been playing for two years and could still not play their instruments correctly. Since I was part of their sectional group, I had to put up with this every time I went into that room and it was hilarious for me because I was a bystander and knew how to play my instrument. This is why I joined the band. Kinda. Alex, it's your turn. Hey guys, my name is Alex and I have a rather interesting school story to tell. Our school is quite peppy and towards the end of the year things get really weird. People wear all kinds of interesting stuff, but the day that was the weirdest was onesie day. The day where people come to school with dressed as unicorns, dogs, and other random animals. Luckily, I don't have any regular onesie pajamas. But I do have one really weird one. It's a Pikachu one. My mom got me this thing for Christmas when I was nine. So I brought this Pikachu suit to school, and I thought it was funny, so I showed some of my friends the pajamas. One thing led to another, and in advisory, our last class, pretty much general work time, I was bribed into wearing the suit in the middle of class. I went to the bathroom, but really was just putting on the pajamas. I know, I'm super sneaky. I walked back into the room, and everyone, including the teacher, was shocked and confused. The teacher just kept staring at me, not even saying anything. I was too embarrassed to look at the room, so I just sat there. It was a pretty interesting experience for me, and hopefully you learned something while watching it. Lesson today is to only wear a Pikachu onesie in class if you want people to be confused. Oh, and we have a very special guest, Nikki! Hey guys, I have a rather gruesome school story for y'all. I was in advisory watching a video with my teacher. But wait, it was a video I was in. At the time, I was playing with a stapler, like a normal person, like a cool person. I had my finger under right where the staple came out, so you know, I could maybe staple my finger. I wasn't pressing too hard, so I wasn't gonna like, staple my finger or anything, right? <laughs> right? No! Please turn it off! It's so bad! No! What do you mean? Your pot will be great. No! Please! No! You don't understand, you mortal! Whoa! Take it easy, man! And as my first word came out, I stapled my finger. Oh. <laughs> At first, my teacher thought I was joking, but in second, she realized it wasn't clickbait. I thought I could pull it out on my own, but no, I had to go to the nurse like a loser. When we got to the nurse's office, I said, can you help me? I stapled my finger. Then they helped me get the staple out, and I was fine. Just remember, kids, never staple your finger like a loser. Like me. What's up guys, it's me, Connell. I have a pretty weird story. I had a cool advisor and in advisory all I would do was read until one interesting day. Until then, I had never known what Tetris was. And that day my advisor was like, hey, let's play Tetris because it's Friday. I just sat there while everyone took out their computers and played this random game. 
I just joined in while asking, what's Tetris, multiple times until someone answered me. It's a game where you stack blocks. Wow, exciting! But I just played because I was tired of reading. I joined in and stacked away. My advisor got 40,000 and I thought it was insane. I was dropping the good old one to two thousands, which was great. In my head, I felt like I was in an action scene or something. One time later in the year, I got like 200,000, which was cool, but that's not the story. While I played, I didn't even realize that I was up at 50,000 and people slowly started gathering around. I looked up and I see the people just staring at my screen while I played the game. Then the speed increased and I started screaming and stuff. I eventually died and got mad, but yeah, pretty fun. And now last, but hopefully not least, Julian. Hey. Hey guys, it's me, Luke. Julian was gonna tell a story, but then he couldn't, so I guess I'm telling a story now. So, one day in sixth grade, I was just walking home from school like every single other day, and I was gonna meet up with some of my friends up town to battle a gym in Pokemon Go, because back then, that game was actually popular. Fun fact, I actually started out on this channel doing Pokemon Go videos, but then I switched to animations and, uh, yeah, those seem to be doing way better. Anyways, I was walking down when I realized, shoot, my phone isn't in my pocket. I must have left it at school. But this was towards the beginning of the school year, so I didn't really know if I could just walk in or not. So I had the brilliant idea of going home and using my home phone to call my friend Julian, who was in 6th grade at the time also, to come with me. Cause, I mean, he obviously knows how to get in. Also, my house is on the other side of the school from where I am, so to get to my house, I had to go past the school. What was I even thinking? So I rush home, grab the home phone, and- Hey dude, I left my phone at school. Can you come with me to get it? What do you mean, no? Ugh. So there I was, a stupid sixth grader, heading to school after it closes. I rushed the door and bursted through it and rushed to my locker as the hallway was exploding behind me and I'm just kidding, this is what really happened. Maybe I press this button? Alright, I guess that worked. Finally, I made it to my locker. Wait, where's my phone? Oh. So, yeah, apparently my phone was in my backpack the whole time. This just shows how smart I am. I have no idea how I even got in there. Normally when I go to my locker at the beginning of the day, I just throw my phone into it and it just sits in my locker. But I guess it bounced off the back of my locker and into my backpack? Because how else would it get there? Well, there's actually a lot of other ways it could have gotten there, but I like to think it bounced off the locker and into my backpack because it seems like it would be a pretty cool trick shot to brag about. Wow, I just scored a backwards half court. That's cool and all, but one time in 6th grade, my phone bounced off my locker and into my backpack. Whoa, cool! So, I guess that's gonna do it for the school stories. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, even though it is a bit different. And before I go, I just wanna let you know that no one is too cool for school. Except for me. Alright, hey guys, I'm gonna do this end card fast because I really wanna get the video up very soon, but I totally forgot to do end cards. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed that video. Thanks to ThomasYT for the fanner, and thanks for Waffle Donk Doodles for being something. If you guys wanna be something, then subscribe, turn on notifications, leave a like, and comment, I'm now something. I'll pick one person to be featured in the end of my videos, just like Waffle Donk Doodles. This video took a lot of planning. I started making this video when I was just starting making the VidCon video, so it definitely took a while. When I say planning, I mean making sure my friends were able to come over at certain times to voice the lines, making sure that everyone had a story, and my friends aren't, like, they don't do that stuff regular like me. So if you guys are like, oh, this person's really bad at voice acting, then that's kind of why. They aren't really experienced in this, but they just did it because they wanted to, and I think it was a pretty cool idea. Also, thanks to Bryson from Haminations for letting me use his friend's idea thing. You should check out his video, I'll link in the description. Speaking of things linked in the description, all my social medias, including my Discord server, are down there, along with some of my friends' channels and stuff, so check that out. Anyways, until next time, make sure you eat your breakfast, because the most important meal of the day. <laughs>